Welcome to our yoga quickie on general mobility. You can do this practice with or without a mat. To begin, we're going to start with the feet hip width apart, standing nice and tall. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, arms resting alongside the body, and then bringing the attention to the breath. Drawing it in through the nose, all the way down into the abdomen, creating a nice expansion for your inhale. And as you exhale, drawing the belly button towards the spine, getting as much air out as you can. Taking a few more breaths right here, becoming fully present where you are. And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly allow the head to fall over towards the right shoulder. Exhale, allow the chin to be heavy, head rolls through the front. And as you inhale, come around the back, reaching long through the top of the head. And exhale through the front, coming into some nice slow neck rolls. Continuing with your breath, exhaling heavy through the front, and inhaling long around the back, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. Eyes can be open or closed. One more in this direction taking it nice and slow, and then going the opposite way. Inhaling around the back, exhale nice and heavy through the front, chin towards the collarbone. Staying relaxed through both shoulders still. Two more in this direction. And when you finish this one off, slowly bring the head back to center. Now extending that right arm out to the side, even with the shoulder. This is your inhale breath. As you exhale, allow the head to fall away from the hand, inhaling back to neutral, and exhale, allowing it to fall away. Continuing with the breath, as you reach through those right fingertips, and then exhale, let that head fall. Two more. Now this next time, when you allow the head to fall over, you're holding. Relaxing as best as you can between that right ear and the right shoulder as you still reach through those right fingertips away from the body. One more breath. And then slowly bring the head back to neutral, lower the right arm, and come over to the other side. This time extending the left arm, inhaling here, and as you exhale, allow the head to fall away from that extended left arm. Inhaling to neutral, exhale, letting the head fall away. Continuing to move slowly with the breath. Two more rounds. And on this next one, when you allow the head to fall away, we're holding, this time relaxing in the space between your left ear and your left shoulder as you reach through those left fingertips away from your body. One more full breath. Then slowly bring the head back to neutral, release the arm back alongside the body. Now as you inhale, reaching the arms long towards the sky, Exhaling, slowly coming into a forward fold, hands onto the shins or all the way to the mat. Inhale, returning all the way back up, reaching the arms to the sky. And exhale, returning into the fold. Continuing with your breath. Inhales getting nice and long, really reaching towards the ceiling. And exhale, coming into whatever forward fold feels best to you. Bending through the knees if you need to. Supporting yourself on the shins with the hands as you go through two more rounds. Last one, nice and long, reaching all the way to the sky. Exhale into the forward fold and holding, allowing the head to hang, trying to keep weight into the ball and heel of each foot. As you take two more breaths, Again, supporting yourself as needed with the hands on the shins or on the ground. 
then slowly coming all the way back up to standing, arms alongside the body. Widening the stance a little bit now, setting up for a yoga squat. So toes are about 45 degree angle, you're wider than hip width. Arms either come forward or hands come to the center of the chest. Now exhale, we're sinking through the legs, hips come towards the ground, inhale, back up. Continuing with the breath, arms long out in front, palms facing one another, or hands staying centered at the chest. Continue with the breath, inhale, rising, exhale, lowering yourself down, pressing through the heel and the ball of each foot, and keeping the weight even through both feet as well. Two more rounds, keeping the spine long and gaze forward as well. Now this next time when you sink down, we're holding, hips down towards the ground, pressing the elbows to the inner thighs if you wish, if your hands are at center, or just reaching forward with the fingertips, gazes forward, top of the head reaches towards the sky as you take one more full breath. Slowly, coming all the way back up to standing, arms back alongside the body, and the feet return to hip width. From here, we're coming into our side bend. So inhale, you're at center. As you exhale, reach the left arm over, right hand down. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Continuing with the breath. Top arm is reaching up and over as you exhale, and that base arm is reaching down. Staying as long as you can through both sides of the torso. Gaze stays forward or it rotates up towards that top arm. That's okay for the neck. Listening to your body, respecting where it is today, and also trying to keep the weight even through both feet. Staying nice and connected through your base. The next time you reach your left arm up and over, we're holding. Left fingertips reach towards the sky, right fingertip extend down towards the earth. Drawing the breath into that left rib cage and side body as you try and come a little bit deeper for one more full breath. Slowly come back up through center on your next inhale and exhale coming the other way to hold. Right arm extends long, drawing the breath into that right side body extending the left fingertips down towards the earth. One more complete inhale and exhale. Then slowly come back up through center and bring the arms back alongside the body. Hands come to the center of the chest. Now we're stepping back into Crescent Warrior. Right foot comes back first, left foot stays forward. Allow some width left to right in the stance if you need it and then shoot the arms up towards the sky. Staying like this, if this is good for you today, or if you wish, on the exhales, hinging from the hips, extending the arms back, and inhale, flowing back up. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips, reaching the arms back, continuing to flow with the breath, driving through that right heel the entire time. Two more, inhaling upright in your crescent, Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Last one here. And all the way back up. Release the hands down to center and step forward. Switching sides. This time taking the left foot back. Reaching the arms towards the sky. Again, staying here if that's where you're at today. Otherwise, exhale forward and shoot the arms back. Inhale, rising, nice, strong, crescent warrior. Exhale, coming forward. Three more. Trying to maintain a nice bend through that front knee throughout and drive through that back heel down towards the ground. One more round. And then returning all the way back up into your crescent, unless you're already there. Hands come to center and inhale forward. As you inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, come through a forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shins if you need it. Exhale, fold. Two more, inhaling halfway. Exhale, folding. Last one. And exhale, fold. As you inhale, slowly return back to center. Setting up for warrior two this time. Left leg stays forward first, right leg comes back. This is your inhale breath. As you exhale, take the right arm down the leg, left arm to the sky. Inhale back to center, warrior two. Exhale, left elbow to the thigh, right arm alongside the ear, side angle. Continuing with the breath, inhale, reverse. Back to center, exhale, forward. Inhale, center, exhale, reverse. Maintaining that nice deep bend through the front knee, exhale, side angle. And last round. All the way into reverse, neutral, and then forward to side angle. Returning back to your warrior two and stepping up to the top of your mat, however works best for you. Getting ready for the other side, left leg comes back, right foot stays forward. Inhale here and then exhale, come into reverse, right arm reaches up and back, back to neutral. Exhale, forward, side angle, the left arm reaches alongside the ear. Inhale, center, exhale, reverse. Continuing to flow with your breath at your pace. Keeping the feet fixed to the mat. Weight equally distributed between both of them. Hips and torso square to the side. One more full round. Exhaling into reverse, inhale back to neutral, and exhale side angle. Coming all the way back up, stepping forward to the top of the mat. On your next inhale, reaching towards the sky, exhale coming through your forward fold, inhaling halfway up, exhale fold. Two more rounds coming halfway up, nice long spine, exhale releasing, last one. Inhale, returning all the way to standing. And now, taking the legs wide sideways on your mat. Coming to a comfortable width, toes pointing forward. Ideally, toes and heels are in line with one another. And as you inhale, reach the arms towards the sky. Exhale, coming forward, hands down towards the mat. And then inhale, rising once again. Continuing with your breath, as you move through this, try and keep the hips in line with the heels as best as you can. It's better to have a little bit of a bend through the knees and keep everything in line than it is to send the hips way back. Also, try and press down through the ball in the heel of each foot. As you continue for two more rounds, inhale, reaching to the sky nice and long, exhaling forward. This next time you come forward, we're holding, hands down to the mat, letting the head hang as best as you can, drawing the breath wherever you're feeling the tension as you do your best to let go a little bit more on each exhale. One more full breath. And then come up nice and slow to standing, staying in your wide-legged, arms towards the sky, this is your inhale. As you exhale, left arm comes down alongside the leg, right arm reaches over, side bending, inhale neutral. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over. Continuing with the breath, staying nice and long through the torso, connected through both feet, gaze stays forward, and relaxing as much as you can through that side body as you alternate sides. Side bending on the exhale, Coming through center as you inhale. One more each side. Then returning back to center, releasing the arms and returning the feet to hip width. Now for this one, you may need a wall. 
and that's okay. We're going to bend through the right knee and grab the right foot with the right hand. Stretching out the quad, again using that left hand on the wall if you need it, but try not to depend too much on it. You're aiming to keep that right knee, right hip, and right shoulder in line with one another as you reach that right knee down towards the ground. Keeping the breath moving and a focal point for the gaze as you take two more full breaths right here. Slowly releasing that right foot and coming to the other side. Bending through that left knee, grabbing onto the top of the foot, using the right hand on the wall or placing it on the hip. Keeping that breath moving, reaching the left knee down this time, keeping the left knee, left hip, and left shoulder in line with one another as best as you can. Two more complete inhales and exhales. Coming back into it if you fall out. And again, using the wall if you need it. Gently releasing that left foot. Coming back to hip width apart. One more time, we're going to reach up towards the sky, nice and long. Exhale, come into your forward fold. This time, staying here for a little bit. Grabbing opposite elbows, resting the hands on the ground, whatever's most comfortable for you, and allowing that head to just hang. Bending a little bit through the knees as well if you wish, allowing the breath to just come and go. Taking a few more breaths here. And then when you're ready, slowly rolling all the way back up to standing. Thank you for sharing your practice with us today. Namaste.